Hey, this is Cameron, and welcome to the practice log. Alright, well, we got a lot of exciting stuff to get into today. Whoa, I wonder what that could be. Oh my god, what's the title of this video? I'll see you in the chair. I don't know how it's coming across, but my apartment feels really messy right now, so I'm sorry about that. It's just been non-stop. It's been non-stop filming, non-stop worrying. What am I worried about? Well, <laughs> so as you guys may know, if you've been watching, I have purchased a new guitar and I actually had the guitar built. Yeah, and I've been just waiting for that in the mail. It was supposed to take like three days to get here, but it ended up getting shipped from Wisconsin. Uh, it made it all the way, or actually I'm not gonna say all the states because I don't want you to be able to pinpoint me, even though you can pretty easily determine what state I live in. But let's just say it started from the north and then it went all the way to the southeast. Then it went all the way to California after that, and then all the way back to the southeast. And then it finally got to where I live. So I mean, it's just been a nightmare watching that on the tracking thing. Just like, it's been like two weeks. It's been in shipment for two weeks. So I was expecting it to just be a bunch of like splinters by the time I got it, which you can see the box there. I know it's not gonna be like a normal unboxing. I wanted to do like an unboxing on the guitar, but I was so worried that it was just gonna be destroyed uh, that I just went ahead and opened it up. But I'm still gonna try to give you the unboxing experience. So let's just talk about some of the specs, I guess. I got this guitar from Timothy Stice. You can look him up. Met him at a guitar festival in North Carolina. Yeah, I played his guitars and I really liked them. So I was like, I need a new guitar. Why don't I get him to build one? And so he has, so he has. The initial price of the guitar was like pretty affordable. I think like 4,500 for a single top uh, spruce. These prices might change. I don't know. It's just at this time, this is what it cost me. I got Brazilian rosewood, which added an extra 500, which actually seemed like pretty reasonable. And I also got these tuners. They're like Elise or something or something like that, but they were like a thousand bucks. I think they were like $1,100. <laughs> so the, the end cost of the guitar ended up being more like six grand. Probably the most expensive thing in my apartment right now, but not like crazy expensive for a professional instrument or anything. Pretty reasonable. Yeah, some of the specs, I mean, like I said, Brazilian rosewood, it's made of uh, Italian spruce, the spruce top, single top, all those words. It's got nice like fingering in the, the spruce and the soundboard, you'll see it in a second. French polish, of course. That's just like some general specs. You're gonna see it now in a bit. In fact, let's just go ahead and jump into it. I think this practice log is just gonna be about the, about the new guitar. I'm not gonna answer any questions or anything. So I'll see you in the piano bench. Oh man, of all days, my nose is like stuffed up. So annoying. We got the BAM case, which, let me go ahead and say, surprisingly light. I think it only weighs like 17 pounds in total. My other guitar, the Cordoba, in that case that it comes in, it's so heavy. It's insanely heavy. But this, I mean, we have the handle. We have these right here. I can't wait to wear this as a backpack. Let me actually give you some action shots. I mean, check this thing out, right? Boom. What's up? Where are we going? Going off. Boom. Boom. Got the double. I'll give you some walking shots. <laughs> So that's what it looks like now. This is what I'm gonna look like on campus when I'm in grad school. It's a good look, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. So, let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open. I'm gonna try to not have a microphone fall on the soundboard. Oh, uh, a little pro tip for you. Don't use your right hand to open these. You will break a nail. All right, the reveal. Boom. Let's get some action shots in there. So it might be hard to see. I can't tell if you can see with the camera. But the soundboard is quite pretty. Yeah, so you can see the fingering there. There's the back, the brass, boom. There we go. That's our guitar. Got these tuning pegs that cost like a grand, of course. God, yeah, the soundboard is so textured. It looks pretty crazy. Wow. Yeah, so that's what we got here. Uh, and you're just gonna see it with me in the piano bench. So let me go ahead and set up. All right, we have ourselves an instrument. Ooh. I've maybe played it for like five minutes, but I'll give you a little taste of what it sounds like right now. All right, so this is no warm up or anything. I just got home. It's time to keep in mind with the spruce, uh, this is what I've been told. It's pretty much at its like quietest and most nasally sounding right now. And the more that you play it, the more the actual wood fibers will uh, open up, like from the vibrations and stuff. So this is a brand new guitar. Like it was literally finished like two weeks ago. Yeah. 
It's definitely much more like balanced than the Cordoba, I think. And it feels way better to play. And there's way less buzzing, like in a lot of the... Alright, let's just not waste any time. Let's just go ahead and jump into an actual practice session in a practice log, which, uh, yeah, we've been doing a lot of, like, reaction stuff, not uh, a whole lot of practicing. I have been practicing a lot every day, though. I promise you. So, alright, I'll see you on the other side. Okay, I have to teach pretty soon. I've been working a lot on the Morel Sonatina, but I think I'm just gonna play the Adagio for you. Let me let me move the camera slightly. So, you know, I'm still getting used to it. Oh yeah, I also dramatically changed my nails to make them more like flat, like ramp, because I, I wanna lower my wrist a little bit. There's a lot of changes here. And also I haven't played the Adagio in a while. Nah, it doesn't matter. All right, check this out.
Yeah, that is the new guitar. How's it sound? Do you like it? I like how it sounds a lot. Uh, it's especially encouraging knowing that like it'll open up as time goes on too. I feel like it already sounds quite nice. Well, so this is a pretty short one. Like, I just wanted to practice and show you the new axe. And, uh, you know, we'll talk more about it later. Post any questions that you have about it, because I don't even really know where to begin. I don't really know that much about guitars. Um, so, any questions you have, post them, I'll answer them. All right, I gotta teach pretty soon. So, let's go ahead and wrap this thing up. I'll see you in the outro. Hey, well, you know, if you made it this far, be sure to subscribe and leave a like. And, uh, yeah, you know, it's good to talk to you. I'm gonna talk to you more going forward, because I know we've been doing a lot of reaction videos, which, uh, you know, I don't really get to have a conversation with you, like I do in the chair, so I plan on filming more of those. Those reaction videos are a good way to take my frustrations out. It's been two weeks of just, like, worrying about this guitar, so it's like, it's good to have it, but it's like, oh god, like, I hate UPS so much. I am not being sponsored by UPS, they freaking suck. Want some guitar lessons? I'll teach you how to play guitar. That's what I do. Um, anything else? Oh yeah, merch, go to Root and Delight, head on down to Root and Delight, pick yourself up, it's in the description, you know where it is. Comment questions, feel free to leave them. Alright, I'm gonna start my day. I'll see you tomorrow.